Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with another reaction video to uh, Frostmare TV, King Frostmare. And uh, it's called Mysterious Videos Too Scary for a Late Night. And it's about uh, lunchtime today, so that's why I'm not watching it late night. So if you like my reaction, please like, subscribe, and share. Comment if you want to. Give me a thumbs up, please. Thank you. Let's start. Hello guys, time for more mysterious videos. I hope you are ready for some entertainment. Now let's get ready, buckle up and stay frosty. Earlier this week we have taken a look at the haunting which I remember. takes place in the apartment of Remy Coat. Poltergeist activity as well as an eerie apparition can be captured almost on a daily basis at this point. She has asked for help on Reddit, but to this day nobody was really able to help her. Last night she has placed two camcorders to capture the latest happenings and this is what was recorded. Listen closely. She has earplugs in. <laughs> For some reason, the ornaments which are mounted to the ceiling seem to be moved, just like the plant underneath. And then watch between the clock on the wall and the picture. It seems to be getting darker there for some reason. And where do these noises come from? Creepy for sure, but what really took the cake is the following capture that Raimi could come up with. Shadow Man. The shadow person was in my bedroom, next to the door, where I captured the video. Could it be the same ghost figure she had caught on video earlier? What do you think? Could be. The following clip was oh sent to me by Oh my god. You, and she Don't tell me it's a Japanese video. I am scared shitless of these videos. Shit. Let's start. Oh, already got the chills. Told me that she had it in her collection for quite some time. It was recorded by two friends in a high school. They were part of a dance class and were practicing some moves after regular hours in their classroom. Nothing really weird popped up at the time. And they didn't think that anything scary unfolded that afternoon. That is, however, after rewatching their dance rehearsal at home, they had to change their minds, as you will see for yourself in a minute. Oh god. Prepare for the sound effects too to scare me. Oh, fuck. Fucking stupid ass sound effect. Fuck you. Fuck you for the stupid sound effects. I knew it was coming and it still scared me. Fuck. Fucking hate those sound effects. The two girls swore that nobody else was with them in the classroom. Can we believe that? The potato camera says otherwise. Yeah, the potato camera. How about the stupid ass a sound effect? perhaps. Or something otherworldly. A creepy encounter for sure. Sorrel Weed House. The following capture was shared by user Rugby562 and it was quite the interesting one. He states that his mother went to the infamous Sorrel Wheat House in Savannah, Georgia. It was built in 1835 and nowadays acts as a historic museum, which offers ghost tours to people who are interested in the paranormal. Rugby's mother took a couple of images of an empty and darkened room in there, and on one of them this appeared.
people say it looks eerily similar to a face. Maybe a being from a long forgotten time period. Apparently oh, this face was only seen on the following image. And it would almost appear as if the head was moving, hence the motion blur. But it's hard to say what exactly we are looking at here. A paranormal capture or something more explainable. What more you explainable. Say? Come on, it's dark, it's light. Come on. Show videos, not pictures. It's been a long time since we have taken a look at the paranormal investigations of fellow investigator Phil Koch. Many years Who? ago, he was Phil sharing some of Phil Koch. <laughs> Phil Koch? Phil Koch the best footage on his very own YouTube channel. Tonight we want to take a look at some of his most entertaining captures. In the following recording, he was investigating a supposedly haunted attic with a friend. Seven. Seventy. And uh, I think that it was about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here, but I don't know what that was from. What's our average temperature? Come on, Phil. Seven thirty-eight. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Wait, it's going to forty-five. Guy looks like Justin Bieber. What do you mean? Okay, enough. <laughs> There's 50. Oh, yeah. uh, Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Justin Bieber. I got a reading here. Ah! Shit. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Reading here. Ah! Justin Bieber is out of there. Hello. Interestingly enough, nothing besides a garbage bag was placed on the chair that moved on its own. Yet, it looks almost as if there was something sitting on it. Maybe just paradoia. Nothing sitting on it. On another night, Phil went to one of the most haunted locations he had ever explored, the Alchemist Theater. He Alchemist went for a quick theater? preliminary investigation on his own first, before deciding if he and his team should devote a whole night to this place. Apparently, there were countless reports from actors who had seen creepy looking shadow people in the catacombs of this old theater. In this hallway, when they come down here, they hear footsteps, they hear people talking, but um, this hallway is supposedly haunted. I don't know. I guess, um... oh, oh, shit! Geez. What the? Yeah, they showed this on okay. nukes already. Why the fuck did I get scared? They showed this on nukes already. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's a theater. I'm sorry. This scared me. Look at this. Okay, everybody, look at this. All right, I'm looking for a doorway to the upstairs with this little thingy. There's a doorway. Here's a way out. Jeez! Jeez! I'm out of here. I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> but before gathering his team, he decided to give the showroom another here. look, and something really odd unfolded set there. Up in this corner here, and uh, I'm just gonna sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound, but I'm just gonna sit and uh, listen. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. The chair moves. Watch. Yeah, I've seen these already. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Did a paranormal entity just play some tricks on him? If that was the case, it certainly wasn't finished with him that night. We got lights on in here. Uh, this is where he runs out. We got lights out. on. We're in the basement of the Alchemist, and uh, it's about 1 a.m. And uh, I'm shooting the first round through this hallway here, uh, behind the door. He's walking around, but that's probably. How do you know no one's home upstairs? Did you go knock and ask them? 
Oh, jeez. Let's make some more noise. Hello? Anybody in here? Well, besides the people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Come on! See if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Come on! Apparently, something pulled open the doors. Oh, that's why I got scared. <laughs> the door open? No, the door was open. That door was closing. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay, flashlight. Uh, I'm gonna leave a stupid doll like that hanging there. Hello? Phil then makes it into this room and something slams the door behind him. Hello? Hey. That's right, get the hell out. Whatever inhabits this old theater clearly wanted Phil out of there. Maybe we take a look at the follow-up visit another time. What do you think happened here? Was it all just a hoax? Or a real haunting? At this point I want to thank all my members and sponsors for your monthly support and a big shout out to my frosty advisors. Megan Noel, Frank B, Steve McMahon, Daniel Kronger, Mask Doll, Josef Maurer, Pori Marjam. Now let's take a look at Abdullah Al Anbari and let's see if he ventured to any haunted locations lately. And what do you know? He also traveled to a new deserted house to investigate for anything paranormal. This house in particular also seemed to inherit a lot of poltergeist activity on first glance. The activity then seemed to have calmed down at first, at least for the moment. Was something making it into this room? You make those stupid sound effects again? Whatever wanted to get Abdullah's attention now lured him into one specific room, it appears. Why is he coughing?
That's like city lights, man. Building lights on the outside. <sighs> Come on. Does this face belong to an animal or something that we can't fathom? Maybe just a friend of his. What's your opinion? Or the building lights in the background. How about that? Anyways, if you like my reaction, please like, subscribe, share. Comment if you want to. Especially give me that like so I should know if I can make future videos on this. Because, yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.